Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do something very exciting and you can already see a sneak peek now with the paint by numbers all framed and in this, on display in my living room. So I've decided to do this paint by numbers that I finished a while ago because it fits the best with the other paintings in my living room and the color combination that I'm aiming for. And please remember that most people won't look at your painting this close up and you are therefore more critical of the painting than others that come and see <laughs> um, the painting on display. So I would encourage you all to get a frame and Hang it up because it's a great achievement that you finished one. So when I decided this was the painting I was going to frame, I measured it. So it's 40 by 50 centimeters without the white um, area at the sides. And I went to Ikea and found this black frame that I really liked. So let's open it up and put the painting inside. I hope this might be useful for you as well if you want to frame your own paint by numbers uh, see how I've done it. So as I mentioned I measured the painting which is just the blue birds to be 40 by 50 centimeters. So I have to get rid of this white area at the side and because I didn't want to make any mistakes of cutting, I decided to just fold it on the inside. So fold it gives you a bit more of a wiggle room rather than cutting it. Um, because it's impossible to cut straight. Um, so yeah, I just fold it and put it on the sides and set, made sure that um, it was indeed going to fit and I <laughs> took the measurements correctly. So that's what I'm doing now in two times the speed. I fold directly on the blue line, so try to get no white on the sides and make it a sharp uh, fold. Once I was happy with all the edges, I continued in opening up the actual frame because it's still in the plastic as you can see and just go on the back and open it up. I did speed forward this section of the video as well because I think it's pretty straightforward. So the this frame from IKEA consists of multiple levels so you have the uh, wooden thing that you can see here, which is on the back. Then you have some uh, paper, plasticky stuff where you can see the different steps. And you also have like an outside ring so you can adjust the size that you want to see. So you can see that clearly here, there's like an outside ring. So I tried first keeping that ring on in and see how that looks like. So I put my folded uh, canvas in, paint by numbers canvas, and you can see I just fold it on the edges and make sure that it's nice and tidy. Um, and then I put the wooden thing back on top to basically keep it all in place. So I found this to be a nice way of not having to cut the canvas. If you have a knife and like somewhere you can cut or like go through it in a straight line, of course that's the best way, but I don't have access to that. And I know from experience if you try to cut it with the scissors, it's not going to work. So for me, folding was the best solution and it might be a good idea for you as well. Um, it works perfectly, as you can see. Uh, well, actually at the beginning you can see it works nicely. 
Um, and I will show you at the end again, don't worry. So yeah, I fold it all in as I made the pre the folds before. Then I just put the wood on top with the soldings to hang it on the wall outside and I secure it all in place. And this is the result. And honestly, I think I would want to remove the white frame. I think it takes too much away from the painting. So here I go again and open it up, remove the white frame. It's the same process, just in reverse. I like the look of this more, the black against the painting, but I do notice there is this gap on the right, so I have to fix the edges there of the painting a bit more and press it down. I therefore open the frame once more and with the knife I gently, um, or more with my finger actually, I just press it down against the glass so that the edge is not standing up and I hopefully don't have the promo anymore. I yeah, I just make the edge a bit sharper basically. So I close it down and this works. So now I'm very happy to show you the end result of my paint by numbers that I framed. I hope you found this tutorial or tips useful. I'm very very happy with the end result. I really like the black flame again, frame against the blue painting as you can see here and I'm very proud that I now have an original of my own um, on display. You can't see the numbers very well. Nobody so far has told me that they saw that I have actually painted it, you know what I mean? They, pro they all thought that I bought it in a store or something, like a print. So I really like that aspect about it and I'm very very proud that I made it and I hope that you will feel the same way about your paint by numbers. If you have tried to frame your paint by numbers and run into some problems, please put them down in the comments and we'll try to help. Equally, if you have more experience and frame your paint by numbers all the time and have some tips you would like to share with us all, please put them down in the comments so we can all learn from each other, right? And with that, thank you very, very much for watching today's video. Please hit the thumbs up button and see you next time. Bye-bye!